Hi, Rihanna. This is your car. We have it here. We're looking at the uh, engine compartment. I just want to let you know that we did check all the glow plugs on the car. We checked that one and all the other ones that are on the side of the engine, and they all seem to be working fine. Um, the, the reason why the car doesn't start is because the fuel isn't wasn't reaching the, um, the injectors, and we suspect that the uh, the fuel filters are all clogged up. So we're gonna. This is what the where the fuel filter is. This is where my hand is touching. The fuel filter is kind of dirty, and I recommend changing the fuel filter, the pre-filter, which is the one I'm just touching right here, and also changing the main fuel filter, which is what my hand's touching right now. This main fuel filter should also be replaced. Um, the other thing that I want to suggest that we do is change the cigar line. It's actually not a cigar. It's supposed to look like a cigar. Somebody replaced this hose at one point and didn't replace it with the right style hose, which is a cigar style hose. It's a, it's a, a swollen hose. It actually doesn't allow the fuel to aerate inside the fuel system. So I recommend changing this hose. It's actually starting to crack. I don't know if you can see the, the cracks on the hose, but the it's starting to crack and it's just a matter of time before this thing starts to leak. Um, we did check the, uh, the battery. The battery is about three years old. Um, you probably have another two years left. We did test it and it tested fine. We checked for parasitic draw. We tried to see if anything was staying on while the car was off. And there is no parasitic draw on your electrical system. The alternator is fine and the belts are fine. The other thing that we did notice on the car is that this radiator cap is original. It's never been replaced. I recommend changing this radiator cap. And the cooling system has a small leak over here at the uh, thermostat. The thermostat gasket is actually starting to leak oil, uh, I'm sorry, coolant and um, it's going to need to be uh, replaced. It is leaking coolant and it shows signs of leakage over here behind the thermostat area and you can see that it's been wet. So you are losing some antifreeze. If you're not going to fix this, you should monitor your coolant level on a routine basis. All right, uh, I'm going to email you an estimate and look over the video and let me know what you want me to do. Thank you.